What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a brand new part from Airwave that we're gonna be installing on our fifth gen 4Runner. So behind me here, we have our 2016 Toyota 4Runner that we're gonna be installing it on. We're gonna show you guys the process of installing it, obviously. I don't think we're gonna show you guys the entire process just because it is a lot and this video will be very long and their instructions is really good already. So there's really no need for us to reiterate everything so let's go take a look at the new air raid snorkel and then we'll get going all right so here is our 2016 toyota 4runner if you guys haven't seen this before this is white but we have wrapped it in this quicksand color just because we like this wrap so much it is a matte wrap it has lots of stuff done to it but Today in this video, we're gonna be mainly focusing on this section right here, just because that is where the snorkel is gonna be going. So we have our factory airbox pulled out, and you guys can kind of tell here with the gunk that's on here. We have sent this through a couple puddles, and we just realized that there was water that actually got in the airbox. Luckily though, it doesn't look like it actually went through to the inside um, of the engine or anything like that, or else we would have hydro-locked our engine. And Mr. Keith here knows a lot about hydro-locking <laughs> because he actually hydro-locked his Tacoma. Right, Keith? I did. Was it fun? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all the way up until the hydro-locked it was fun. Yeah. But yeah. Another good reason to get yourself a snorkel, if you guys like to go through puddles or deep water crossings or anything like that, definitely a good idea. So this here is the new Air Raid snorkel here. It actually looks pretty cool with this new design that it got going on there. This is the box that it comes in, pretty cool. Another good reason to get an Air Raid snorkel is to get fresh clean air as you guys can see here this is our factory uh, filter and it has a lot of gunk in here Let's see what it looks like on the other side so the other side is not too bad so this is the side that the um, is the engines on and this is the side that is on the bottom basically where all this junk is coming through so on top here it's not too bad there's a little bit of dirt that has gone through. So hopefully not too much has gone into the actual engine itself. So looking in there, doesn't look too bad right in there. So I think we did pretty good, but this is probably a good time and good mod to have from the get go. So that way the engine doesn't get too gunked up and that way it lasts longer, drives better and all that good stuff. So we got partially a part of the template taped up over there. They give you this nice template to follow as well. Is it a three piece template? Yep. Yeah, three piece template. So you do have to tape it together. Um, it's not too bad though. And then drill. A nice part of, of this is that the circle that you do need to drill is circular. So you could use a uh, one of those saws, What's, what are those saws called? Hole saw. A hole saw. That's the word, hole saw. And we have this exact size, so cutting it's gonna be super easy. I see a lot of people using a, like a sawzall to cut it, and that's not very clean. A hole saw is gonna make a nice, perfect circle. And then we're gonna put some paint on that so that way the raw metal won't rust. But it comes with super nice instructions, so should be pretty easy. So let's do it. All right, we got the template drawn up, taped it, center punched it. We got the little marks from the center punch and everything. Now we are ready to drill. Like I said, this is so nice to have a perfect circular saw to cut this. There are some that are like oval and those ones suck because you do have to use a uh, reciprocating saw.
Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, look, there's another hole in there. Look at that. Nice. That's it. Less than probably 30 seconds to make that hole. And then now we just drill the other holes that we have center punch, which you probably can't see in the video because they're too faint. But there's one right there. We gotta drill those holes for the studs that are on the back side of the snorkel. So it comes with these and you just spin them on, put a little bit of Loctite on them and that's what we're drilling those holes for. So that way we have a way to uh, secure the snorkel to the fenders. All right, we are all done. And this thing looks super mean, especially this right here. That design right there and the sharp lines looks super good. And then of course we put the factory air box back, cleaned out the filter since we have a uh, one of those washable ones, cleaned it out with some detergent cleaning stuff that we have for these filters, put everything back together and here we are. So here's a nice little angle from this side here. I really like this corner as well, how, how it like has a sleek progress like into this big piece. Like you can see how big this piece is. Here. A four finger width right there. Four and a half maybe, yeah, four and a half. But that's how big it is compared to my hand. But it does look really, really aggressive. Super nice, I like that. And then the yellow on the air raid matches the paint a little bit. And then also in the vent as well up here. Uh, yeah. Now that we have this, you can have cooler air since the air gets cooler higher up. So we'll have cooler air for the engine, which the engine is gonna run better. We'll have cleaner air, so that way when we're off road and there's a lot of dust from the truck in front of us, it won't get just sucked in down here where the hole is for um, the filter box. So if you guys have the liner down here, but it is cut, like ours is due to having a front bumper, then junk is gonna go up there, especially if you go over water crossings and uh, go sending it through um, puddles and stuff like that. Water is gonna go up there. And like I showed you guys before, the air box was um, not full, but it definitely had mud and water in there. So it is nice to know now that we won't have any issues with the uh, snorkel being up here. So all the air is gonna be collected from up here, sent down, and then about right here towards the front, air goes in here into the engine. So realistically, um, the truck should run better now with the snorkel. So let's give this truck a final look with the snorkel. Let me know what you guys think down in the description of course we are going to have this product down there as well and i think we're going to be stocking these just because how nice they look so what do you guys think all right guys that is going to be it for this video like i said before i will have these well this snorkel down in the description it's going to take you to our website we will most likely have this in stock by the time you guys see this, hopefully. If not, we can get it pretty quickly. They have it in stock at Air Raid. Um, pretty aggressive. A lot better looking than the Tacoma one, in my opinion, and I have a Tacoma. So I kind of wish that they made it like this one. Hopefully they will make a redesign, version two, maybe. Um, but either way, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, we'll see you later. Peace.